platinum demand is on the rise as more countries move towards greener energies. Platinum is a main catalyst for hydrogen fuel cells, but supply of the metal is constrained. According to a report compiled by an independent metals consultant, global platinum supply could fall between 500,000 and a million ounces this year. South Africa's power crisis is by far the greatest impediment. Production is going to be down. We don't know if they'll be down 5%, 7 or 8 but it is going to be down. South Africa is the biggest producer of platinum group metals, accounting for over 70% of the market, followed by Russia and Zimbabwe. But with lower output, gains will be limited, although platinum prices may shoot up further on low supply. PGM prices are still holding at great levels. These are levels none of us ever anticipated, and they've held throughout COVID. China's coming back online. So that is a real good news and plus for all of our PGM producers that they're getting very good prices that don't show signs of falling. South Africa faced the worst year of power cuts on record in 2022, just two weeks into the new year and the country is already experiencing over eight hours of load shedding a day. More than 80% of our power comes from coal power stations. So that exacerbates the load shedding situation because what ESCOM is doing is they're not spending any of that money or any of their own normal funds, maintenance funds, uh, to maintain and, 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 and keep the power stations, the coal power stations going. This could have been a boom for the platinum mining industry. But with South Africa's power crisis set to drag on for a few more years, many are even questioning the viability of mining and manufacturing in the country.